It's Thursday, December 4th, 2008. I'm James Kotecki, and welcome to the show. Hey, you know all those people who say that pretty much everything the government does is unconstitutional? Well, it looks like they may finally have a point. And bonus, it's a point that could hurt Hillary Clinton. Turns out there's a clause in this constitution that prevents members of Congress from being appointed to positions that had wage increases during that member's time in office. So, since the Secretary of State had a salary increase during Clinton's Senate tenure, this all has the potential of being a full-scale constitutional crisis. Unfortunately for the Hillary haters, she's not going to be Secretary of State in the same way that Obama's foreign birth disqualifies him from being president and Congress will stop abusing the Commerce Clause. That is to say, she's got the job. Congress is just going to have to set the salary for sex state to what it was before her current term started. Oh well, once again, the Constitution just proves to be a minor obstacle in the way of politicians doing pretty much whatever they want. Actually, this same issue has applied to other cabinet appointees in the past, so don't get too upset, Ron Paulers. This is one constitutional issue you don't have to have nightmares about. Next, you know our country is cynical. Members of Congress are hanging up on the president-elect because they assume it's a prank call. Florida Representative Ross uh, Latian, Ross Latian, having trouble pronouncing things, but sorry, Representative Ross Latian. Recently, she got a call from Obama. She thought it was a South Florida radio station known for its pranks, and she hung up. Now, clearly, nobody wants to get Sarah Palin by a prank phone call, but when Rahm Emanuel called her back, she hung up again. The two did finally connect, but I think she should have known by that second call. South Florida radio DJs who do prank calls probably aren't likely to have an effective fallback Rahm Emanuel impression ready to go. Well, that's almost it for today's hit, but before I do my usual closing pitch, or rather, instead of my rather my usual closing pitch for politico.com slash Kotecki, I'd like to instead close with a little a cappella number I whipped up to anticipate some of today's angry Ron Paul-related comments. Please don't hate me. I don't think you should hate me if I make fun of Ron Paul or his supporters. You shouldn't take yourselves so seriously. It's the internet and I'm just trying to have some fun. And I know I interviewed Ron Paul in my dorm room. Why does that mean that if I tell a joke about him, I've sold out and people will like you more if you learn to laugh at yourself and your ideas. For example, I am fully aware that I can't sing.